Hey everyone, it's Ginny from Homestead Corner. And today I thought we'd talk a little bit about medical things. I think everybody should have a first aid kit and we love this first aid kit and I did a review on this so you can see all the stuff that comes in it and I will put the link up there to our review on this kit and um, there'll be a link in the description as well if you're interested in it this is a super good buy and it, it's a really great kit and we really love it. It's soft-sided, you can add to it, you can whatever you want, I think this is great. But besides a first aid kit, I think you should have some other supplies um, more in depth than just a little bit of first aid stuff. We keep quite a bit of different stuff in our medical supplies. Um, not everybody would carry these things, but we keep them on hand because you never know if an emergency situation comes up i think they're important to have in there even if i don't have everything to go with it i may encounter a situation where someone has part of it and i have the other part that i could help them or they could help us so um, i think that's important too to just keep as much as you can in your medical supplies and uh, you know a reasonable amount and that way you have got your bases covered the best you can so <clears throat> a lot of this is first aid and some of it goes a little bit beyond but I think it's good to keep a good supply so um, to start with we always keep extra bandanas in our medical supplies they are great for all kinds of stuff you can wrap wounds with them you can make a quick instant mask with them just tie it around the back of your head you've got a mask um, not great for all situations but it'll get you in a pinch if you need it um, they're really great if you have to tie up wounds or anything like that let's say you had gauze but you didn't have any tape tie this around it that works um, there's so many things you can do with these I think handkerchiefs are a must-have in any of your supplies the next thing we keep in here are knee braces um, elbow braces things like that we have a few wrist braces uh, my husband had a knee injury. We didn't used to carry these, but my husband had a knee injury and now we realize that it's really important to keep stuff like this in our medical supply. If that knee injury re-bothers him because every now and then it kind of flares up and gives him trouble, we've got this stuff on hand. We don't have to worry about it. And this is just a stretch one. You can do tons of different kinds, Velcro ones. We have a whole bunch of different ones. But then I just thought I would show you one to give you that idea. And some of these things that work for us are not going to work for you. And you might have other things that you want to put in there. But I think this is just a great reminder to help everybody on the type of things that they should keep in there. So another thing is a small flask of whiskey. Whiskey is great if you got hurt. Let's say you had to have some stitches or something. It can help numb the pain a little bit. It can also clean the wound. You know, a little bit of alcohol. Um, it can go for a few different things. So I think that's good to have in there. Just a little bit. Um, not tons of it. We're not big boozers, but you know, once in a while, a little cocktail is nice. And for medical purposes, if you don't have alcohol or something like that, you can use that to clean a wound with. Uh, the next thing, um, prescription medications. Our, one of my kids and myself both have asthma. We keep extra inhalers in our medical supply kit. That's something that we keep we try to rotate them out, but we try to keep an extra in there every couple months. I will pull that one out, put a new one in, just because if 
something if the grid goes down or if we're unable to get medical supplies if i can't get that medicine i have got an extra or two just put away just in case to get us through until we can um, there are other avenues that you can go with and i think having some of those are important also and because we have asthma one of the things i like to keep on hand is this lung tonic it's by Avena Botanicals. I really like this, it helps clear your lungs, especially if you start to get a cold or something like that. I think this is a priceless thing. These are around $12 for a one ounce bottle. It's a herbal supplement, they're tinctures. They're a great little company out of Rockland, Maine, and they make some really great stuff. I also keep a Mulan tincture on hand. Um, I can make these tinctures if I have to. These are ones that I had, um, and I do, I do, I'm using these ones until they're gone, obviously, but I do make sure that when Mulan is in season, I gather that so I can make teas, tinctures, whatever I need to, and I have that in my, um, herbal stuff that I need. So, uh, that's definitely a whole nother video there's a lot of herbal stuff <laughs> but um, another thing uh, along with the prescription medica medications if you have a little bit of antibiotics left over or I have even had a extra script of pain medication called in from my doctor when I had my foot surgery they called in a prescription for an extra um, pain medication, which I did not ask for. I didn't know anything about it. I went to pick up my regular medicine and it was sitting there. So those kind of things, if you can put that away, you've got it. A little bit of pain medication. I don't think it's, uh, you don't need tons of it, but just in case, if you broke a bone or something, it would really help get you through until you could get proper medical attention. And you know, it's, it's definitely gonna help. And uh, I have one or two, like a muscle relaxer. I don't keep tons of this stuff because we don't really use it or anything, but I had a script because I had an issue and you know, you just keep a couple extras on hand. And uh, allergy medication, that's another one. Um, I think those are important. Uh, you keep just a little bit extra of your allergy medication. I have a prescription. I usually only use it in the spring, but at the end of the season, I always grab an extra bottle just in case to put away. So I have it if anything comes up because I have had like allergy issues in the middle of winter. And if I am not able to get medication, I've got a little bit put away. So it's not tons, but it's a little bit. Um, I think that's important because a lot of times you'll be able to get medications, but there may be some instances where you cannot. So, and I don't think having tons of pain medication and stuff like that is real important unless you are in constant pain and you take pain medication all the time. Your regular prescriptions, uh, you should definitely have an extra month in the house if you can get it. An extra week, just a couple days, whatever you can put away and you know just have that tiny little bit extra just to help get you through if something goes down if you can't get to the pharmacy or there is no medication available you've got just a little bit to help squeeze you through to get there so other than that um, we also keep a uh, good stock of vitamins on hand I think those are important all the vitamins that you use. We keep melatonin, we keep fish oil, the omega-3s, multivitamins, um, apple cider vinegar, any of those things that you use. If you use them on a regular monthly basis, you should definitely have at least one extra bottle put away, if not two or three. You want a couple months worth. Um, especially if it's something that you're counting on to help level a mood or you know if you're not able to sleep well or if you're um, drowsy all the time and it helps keep you awake whatever that is those vitamins that help keep you going if you take them all the time I think it's important to have plenty of extra of those as well um, 
Another thing that we like to keep on hand is plenty of um, pain reliever like Advil, Tylenol, things like that, chewable aspirin, um, anything in that area. Those are really great to have. We try to keep plenty of that on hand so we don't have to worry about it. If one bottle runs out, there are always more. The next thing that I like to keep on hand is laxative. If you get bound up and you got to go, then, you know, at least you've got a little bit of laxative. And I also keep the anti-diarrhea medication as well because either way, if you are having an issue, you don't want to have too much diarrhea, you can definitely get dehydrated really easily during that situation. And also, if you're too bound up, that can cause problems as well. So I think both of those are a great way to go. And uh, the next thing we keep on hand is eye drops. We have a couple different kinds of eye drops that we keep. We have one specific for pink eye, um, Simil something, I can't remember. I'll put it in the description down below, the one we use for pink eye, but any kind of eye drops, those are important. You can use them for a whole bunch of things. Uh, let's see. Another thing that we keep in our medical supplies are essential oils. We keep a whole bunch of different ones in our medical supplies, germ fighter, immune booster, um, tea tree is a great antiseptic one, lavender is good for cuts. There are so many different things you can do. If you use essential oils all the time, I think it's important to have an extra bottle or two tucked into your medical supplies so you have them on hand. These are, we use these all the time, so I think it's really important to have them, um, and extras of them. And then, let's see, we have a <clears throat> barrage of creams that we keep in our medical supply, because you never know. We have, um, I like Arnica gel for pain relief, that is a really good one. We also have an icy hot cream that we keep. I do have essential oils for that and I can make a cream, but this is handy when you're not up to it. Good to have it. Not everybody's into making everything. Um, and then we keep A&D first, uh, first aid ointment. This is wonderful for skin issues, some extra strength Benadryl. Um, even if these get old and past the date, they may lose some of their strength, but they're still gonna work. You might have to use a little bit extra, but that's okay. We keep these, even if they're a little past their date, that's okay. Most of this stuff is gonna be just fine for quite some time after its date, but you know, it, it may lose a little of its strength. Another thing we keep on hand is a Lotrimin. It's antifungal. If you uh, have any athletes or anything, you know that when your feet get sweaty and you're, you know, the whole chafing and crotch itch and all that stuff, this stuff is great. It's an antifungal and it's just perfect for um, if you are in really sweaty situations, you're working out, whatever, you start to have some issues. It's good to have this stuff on hand. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I got piles of stuff here. A big, giant, piled mess. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, and then, let's see. Vaporizing chest rub. This is a must. We keep it handy all the time. Extra in the med kit. Um, always chest rub. It's great for all kinds of stuff. We keep small packs of tissues. You never know when you're going to need tissues. If you have, if you're bleeding, anything like that, you can make a quick compress with it if you're not able to get to your other supplies. Um, keeping a thermometer, we keep a couple thermometers in the house. We have this digital one. We also keep a regular one that you can stick under your tongue, a rectal thermometer, just a couple different thermometers in case, like if the batteries go out on this, I still can take temperatures with our other um, thermometers. So those are important. Um, <clears throat> a nice selection of band-aids. We keep, we try to keep all different kinds. We got big band-aids, little band-aids. These are uh, big, huge ones and like knuckle band-aids and 
uh, flexi fabric ones. We have, you know, all different kinds of band-aids. Hundreds and hundreds of band-aids. You never know when you're going to need that stuff. Another thing is um, gauze and gauze pads. These are super handy. And with that, you want to make sure you have plenty of tape because these aren't sticky. So you might be able to wrap something in gauze or you can just wad it up and then wrap it with tape or wrap it with a bandana. But these are super important, I think. And we always keep different kinds of tape on hand so we can get the job done for whatever it is. And also ACE bandages. And another thing I found that works really, really well that we keep in there is vet wrap. I love that stuff. It sticks to itself. You can wrap it up and it's all stuck on there, which is great. You don't have to worry about it falling off. You don't need any clips for it. You don't need anything like that. And it's going to support it. When we used to raise sheep, I tried the, I grabbed some vet wrap for an issue that we had one time. And sure enough, that stuff was awesome. So we actually keep it in our medical supplies now because it works really well. And it is a little bit more expensive, but it works really well. And uh, these ACE bandages are always good. Sprains, anything like that. Got to wrap something up. Let's see. <clears throat> I've got a few other things here. We, along with our bandages and stuff, we also make sure we have plenty of triple antibio antibiotic cream. Those are really important. We have a few different kinds of those. Um, peroxide, alcohol. You got to be able to clean wounds, clean things up. These are great. Peroxide has a bazillion uses. Good to have plenty of that in stock. You can clean with it. You can clean wounds. You can do millions of things. Peroxide is amazing. And then uh, if you have bottles of alcohol, that's great, or a spray bottle of alcohol. I found these little alcohol swabs. These are handy. They do dry out if you have them in your storage too long, so I wouldn't overstock on these. But they do work really well. I just keep a few boxes of these and then bottles of alcohol as well. Um, also, uh, we keep a bunch of different little tools in here. I've got a few different types of tweezers, um, some nail clippers, and let's see, a pair of scissors to cut bandages, or if you had to stitch someone, you could cut the stitches and get that out. Um, you never know what is going to happen. So having tweezers, scissors, clip, nail clippers, are important. We also keep one of these little razor scraper things in there because you can flip this. This is turned around so I won't cut myself because I'm dangerous. But <laughs> when you turn this around, you have got a razor blade in here and we have had to use these to get splinters out before. Big giant splinter, just slice right next to it and you can get that out, especially if it's in really deep. I've had to do that before. I don't like going to the doctors if I don't have to. So we do try to take care of everything at home. And uh, so, you know, we're good practice if anything happens. <laughs> I haven't stitched myself up yet, so hopefully I don't have to. But if I have to, I do keep some waxed thread in here and a needle. So, and I got this, this is from the fly tie-in section of Cabela's <laughs> and that is just it's not gonna um, it's not gonna dissolve in your skin or anything you're gonna have to pull it out but it will hold it together and if you get it wet it won't kill it so um, let's see also we always keep an extra thing of floss in here um, some antacids heartburn can be a problem see an extra set of um, the nebulizer hoses and things the little mouthpiece for the nebulizer we always keep an extra set of that in our medical supplies we keep um, sterilized water sterile water if you need it cleaning wounds stuff like that you've got it 
that's always important to have. Um, if you can't find rubber gloves, um, I know our stores are still, we're having a really hard time finding like the medical grade gloves to protect your hands and stuff. These good cook gloves do the trick. They are still, they're the white plastic gloves. They will keep you clean if you have to dress a wound or anything and you don't want to get covered in it. You want to protect everybody. These will do the trick and they're pretty inexpensive. Just a couple dollars for like 12 pair of cooking gloves. I'm... Um, I found them quite a while ago and we've got this package open uh, so we using that one up first and then I do keep and I know this is not for everybody we do keep a few needles butterfly needles uh, syringes some other uh, needles just different different types of needles. I was able to get these um, and I didn't pay for them. Some of the needles I had from our sheep, I used to have to give them uh, like their vaccines and things like that. They would have a shop before they had babies. Um, and we didn't have a vet locally enough to do that. So I had to learn how to do it, which is good practice to know how. But uh, so we have always had uh, syringes and needles and things like that in the house. We can put them together. The syringes are also wonderful if you've got someone that's not able to take their medicine um, on a spoon or whatever. If you want to give them something, that this is easy to shoot it into their throat with a syringe. That's handy. And we've got a whole bunch of different stuff like that that we keep. Uh, I actually have an IV starter kit here and this has all kinds of stuff in it. A clear patch, some gauze, uh, little needles, things like that. Just if we ever need them. Now, I don't have any liquid um, antibiotics or anything like that. I don't, have, I don't have anything that I would give through a needle but I've got this equipment. If someone else had the medicine and they needed this equipment, I could share, I could barter, or maybe they could share. I could give them some of this medical equipment so they have it to go with their medicine. So it's not always something that you have everything of because I don't have any liquid medicines to inject um, in humans. I have some animal stuff but you know not that I'm I'm not gonna put that in me because it's not the same as something that I've used so uh, but there are a few different way you know if you have this stuff I think it's great to hang on to it keep it in case of emergency there may be someone out there that has antibiotics or some kind of medicine that you need and they don't have any syringes and if you do you can cover each other that way um, we also keep, let's see, cotton rounds. I always keep these. I like these better than cotton balls. I know a lot of people use cotton balls and those are great, but when you're, if you have to clean a wound with them, the cotton balls, I think, leave too much fiber behind and these are a little bit neater, the cotton rounds. So I like those. Uh, we also keep some of these instant heat compresses. Um, we have those. And let's see, I think we have, let's see, some petroleum jelly. That is really good to keep on hand. Tons of uses for this in your medical supplies. Also, we keep a little bit of tiger balm uh, for pain and things like that. Uh, some CBD salve, that's good to have on hand if that's something that you use and ambisol i also keep clove oil i didn't i didn't bring it out in the pile but i also keep clove oil for toothaches uh if you break a tooth or anything like that a little ambisol clove oil those are great great to have on hand um uh, lip balm i always keep little lip balms in the medical kit as you know you never know and then the last thing that i keep is uh, the freeze away 
my husband used to work with metal and every now and then the oils would cause like a little wart on his skin so we always keep this on hand just in case it's a little freeze away kit if you got a wart you could take care of it um, and these are good to have they're not super expensive I don't think and it's it will take care of it quickly this works really well um, and that is it for our medical kit that's what we keep in here we have multiples of a lot of these items but you know just an idea of things for you to keep in your medical kit not everything is going to work for you and you may have other things that i don't have in your medical kit that you need or it's something that you use so it's important that you have it that is it though for this video if you have other things that you keep in your medical kit that you think might help somebody or remind them of something put it in the comments down below i love when we help each other it is my absolute favorite thing so if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye